Hi guys, um, welcome everyone. Can you just let me know if you can hear me? If you guys can let me know if you can hear me. If you guys can let me know if you can hear me. Okay, great. Uh, you know, uh, welcome everyone. My name is Suketa. I lead the marketing department here at SDA Bakoni Asia Center. We are organizing this webinar today, uh, mostly focusing on the round three applications that are now open for our international masters in business program. The International Masters in Business program is a program that is offered uh, by SDA Bocconi at the Asia Center campus. Now, before we deep dive into what is IMB and what how the course is structured, I just wanted to highlight a couple of very important differences. A lot of you might know that earlier we were called MISB Bocconi. So this is the first year uh, of us being SDA Bocconi Asia Center. Yes. Uh, MISB Bakoni has been rebranded to SDA Bakoni Asia Center and will now act as a platform for SDA Bakoni at the Asian uh, Pan Asian level, which includes, which basically means recruiting students as well as uh, place, placing uh, students in the Asian uh, uh, continent. Now coming back to what uh, you know, what the International Masters in Business program is all about. So International Masters in Business is a program. It's a 22 months program uh, with first year here uh, at the Asia Center, followed by a summer internship, then advanced courses, and then includes a four month compulsory semester at our parent campus, which is SDA Bocconi, uh, Italy. After that, students come back here for their final uh, placements. During the Milan semester is when the specialization happens for the students who join the IMB program. Talking about the main uh, three to four main points that what makes IMB different than most of the other programs. The first and foremost is that IMB is a program that is registered in the European Education Registry. It is a specialized master's diploma program where you enroll in SDA Bocconi School of Management and you receive the master's diploma directly by SD Bocconi School of Management in Italy. At the end of the program, you will join the alumni network of SDA Bocconi. The entire faculty is formed by the faculty, the same faculty that we have at SDA Bocconi Italy. So the faculty, the program is entirely, uh, is, is very international in uh, uh, nature. And the fact that uh, the, the, the the fact that it includes a four month specialization semester makes it further international. So what we're going to do today is that, uh, you know, rather than going deep diving into the program, we will focus on two main aspects of the program. The first aspect is the placement scenario. And then the second aspect is the specialization scenario. Now let's talk about placements. So we started in India in 2012, which means we have had five batches that have gr already graduated. The sixth batch is currently in their uh, second year and will graduate in, uh, in a month. And the seventh batch is first year. What we are doing now is we are recruiting for the eighth batch. Let's talk about placements now specifically. So we have had a very incredible, uh, you know, uh, placement uh, track record for the last uh, five years. More or less, our placement have been 100% because it's a term that we use here in India. Uh, so I would just go ahead and use that, except two years back where we hit 97% for a very specific reason. And uh, other than that, we have had absolutely 100% placement uh, in the last uh, five years. The main highlight right now is last week two, with our highest being around 21 lakh. This year, however, for the graduating batch, our average has now gone up to 11.36 uh, at interim, with the highest going up to 24, uh, 24 lakhs. So uh, just one second. 
Can you just take it? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so as I, so uh, talking about the placements. Um, so our average, as you can see, from 9.82 has now gone to 11.36 already. But that's not just it. The main important, uh, the entire important factor of uh, the placement season this year is we have managed to crack some very important brands, uh, including, uh, so, and especially in the consulting domain. So the likes of Deloitte, uh, Ernst & Young have already recruited with us. Then Zenoff Consulting, Universal Consulting uh, have recruited with us. We are, Our students are currently undergoing process with KPMG and PwC. As you can see, uh, consulting-wise, we have had pretty big names. In addition to some of these recruiters, let me just give you an idea of a couple of more recruiters that we have uh, added this year from a different domain. So you will also we've also had placements in um, Tolaram Group, Big Basket, Query, H and M, which is one of our very important recruiters. Luxottica, Nika, Future Group, uh, Garwale, Garware, Michael Page, Manpower Group, Larson and Tugro, Infotech, and so on and so forth. The reason I'm mentioning this is this is in addition to the recruiters who have been recruiting with us. And these are recruiters uh, who have ad gotten added to our uh, portfolio this year. Now, let me just take a few questions related to placements, and then I will go back to uh, telling you a little bit more about how we approach placements in general. So I think the the first question that we can pick uh, about uh, placements it what recruiters have come on campus, which is a point I just covered. So for example, the recruiters that have come on campus is including one of the top or most of the top uh, consulting companies, then Future Group, Vito Alter, H and M, um, uh, you know Michael Page, Garwari Polisters, Larson and Tubro into Infotech, Big Basket Query. So these are some of the names that have actually come on campus already, and there are about ten companies whose processes are going on within these two weeks so the 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 this is the name of the uh, the com companies more or less now specifically speaking to bfsi uh, consulting i think i've just covered specifically speaking for the bfsi sector we have companies uh, like the icici bank students are going through kpmg uh, you know finance roles currently previously we have had credit swiss uh, and our alumni are working in companies like ambit vendors capital city bank and credit swiss and so on and so forth Let's talk. Uh, let's take the next question. Uh, what about HR placements? So, let, before I talk about HR placement, let me just give you a little bit of history. So, until uh, since our batch sizes are quite small, until two years back, we did not have so many students choosing HR. So, we started working on recruiting. Uh, recruiting means we started uh, started working on admitting students who were interested in taking HR as a uh, as a uh, specialization this is the work we started two years back and we have done i think finally we have a very good uh, you know batch of students who take hr as a specialization and this year has been very good for us when it comes to final placements in hr we have had companies like hira nandani michael page vito altor uh, even uh, deloitte who have recruited for hr roles and currently a couple of other consulting companies are going through placements uh, for uh, HR as a specialization. So yes, this is the situation of HR uh, placements. The other questions that I see more or less uh, is focusing mostly on the specialization semester. So let me again go back and talk a little bit more about the course and pick some of these questions. So the way the course is designed is it's keeping in mind that any student who join us, who will join us, goes through a a very uh, you know long exposure uh, towards in cross cultural interaction now how does that happen you join the course in june here then in the first year in september you will be merged with our students from essec and bocconi's double degree course now these are italian french german students who will be merged with your class and they will become part of your case groups now how does that help it helps in you interacting and understanding how they approach different cases how they approach different problems and that is trust trust us that is fundamentally different than how uh, you know uh, being indian we will approach it so this kind of creates a very interesting learning experience now this is in the first year which goes on for three full months and then in the second year of course you go to to our parent campus for the specialization four months during the Milan semester how does that work during the specialization when you go to Milan you will be merged with 1600 other students who come to our campus through our different uh, academic partners now these students along with you 
you will receive a list of courses with, from which you can handpick or customize your own specialization. For example, if you're interested in marketing, you will have about 10 to 15 odd courses to choose from, and you will no longer be part of the same class that you have here. What will happen is you will become part of the class that will choose that particular specialization course. To give you an example, if you are taking pricing strategy uh, under marketing, you will not have students from your class only. You will have students from all across these different countries and 1600 students who are picking pricing strategy as one of their courses. In Milan, you're allowed to pick four courses on which you are graded. You can do as many courses as uh, you know possible, but you'll be graded only on four courses. So to build your specialization, what is recommended is that you pick those four courses under the same track. So this is how the Milan semester work. In addition to this, while you are there during your Milan semester, you are also allowed to either do live projects with uh, you know uh, with some of the companies or with uh, some of our professors there. In addition to this. During your internship process with us, there are certain international companies who also offer in, uh, international internships. So if you may make it, that is also an option. Additionally, when you are there during the Milan semester, you are also allowed to sit for the job fair there, which is called Boconian Jobs Milan. There you go, you interact with uh, companies. If you're shortlisted, you go ahead with their uh, selection process. The fundamental, uh, you know, the, the, a very important point here being that language plays a huge role. So if you speak the local language, it absolutely will be a big advantage. Let me just go back to some more questions that I can see here, and then we will come back to, uh, you know, the content once again. So Chirag has asked, I wanted to know, is the selection for summer internship in Milan done? So I think the Milan, uh, so there are two aspects to the program. The first is, of course, the summer internship, which happens during April and May. Then you have the Milan semester, which happens second year from September to December. Now, the summer internships are the internships like most of the other schools where you will sit through internship uh, placements. And some of them might offer placements either in Italy or in Europe or uh, Asia in general. So there the selection process is, uh, you know, depending on company to company. The Milan semester, however, is compulsory for all students, which means the entire batch is shipped to Milan during the second year, September to December period. So I hope this uh, answers your, your question. The next question is, uh, what is the overall structure of student exchange program at SD Bocconi? I think this is something that I covered. I'll just reiterate a couple of things. So the overall student exchange happens in two formats. The first year, you will be studying with students from our double degree uh, program between ESSEC and Bocconi, who will be joining you here at the Asia Center campus in Mumbai for three full months. You will be merged with that batch. You will do case studies as well as uh, the, your, your entire three months course with the ESSEC Bocconi double degree French, German, Italian students mostly. Then in the second year, you go for your uh, Milan semester where you are allowed to pick a minimum of four courses. Uh, uh, you can either do a specialization by keeping those four courses under the same track, or you can even do a general uh, business course by picking courses that are of your interest. The way you pick these courses are driven by your interaction with career development services, basis the companies you are targeting, as well as your interaction with your seniors who will help you guide, uh, you know, pick these courses either through direct interaction or through the clubs that you will be part of. So this is the structure. Once you complete the four months, you come back here and you go through your final term and final placements, which happens between January to April. Okay, so next person is asked, can I apply through CMAT? Uh, unfortunately, we don't accept CMAT. However, uh, if you have taken CMAT and if you feel your CMAT is, uh, I believe, above 90, you, you might be able to clear the Bocconi test. So we have an entrance test, which is called Bocconi entrance test. Uh, it's an online test and it mostly measures the behavior. It's, it's basis. Um, it mostly measures the behavioral assessment of a candidate. So to take the test, you just have to apply it to the IMB program and say, yes there's no additional fee for it it the pattern format is very much similar to some of the other tests however the difficulty level is different it's computer adaptive there is no negative marking and you can take it from your home so if in case you feel uh, if you have low you know scores that you feel you're not satisfied with or if you're you've taken cmat and you're interested in applying you can apply by taking bocconi entrance test 
Okay, the uh, this is a question, interesting question. Pratik, does S.D. Bokoni have alumni who is working as investment bankers? Yes, so currently we have students who are working in BNP, Paribas, uh, Avendus Capital, and a couple of other companies where the roles are what you, you might have mentioned. I don't know what levels of investment banker uh, you know intensity they work with, but we have had students who have worked in this segment. What are the top companies which come for general management roles? Okay, so let me just look at some of the names. Uh, the names which I'm giving you are the latest names. Please understand that the list is much bigger than this. But these are the names who mostly recruited, say, in the last uh, you know two weeks. So, for example, general management we have we have ICICI Bank that takes uh, also for MT roles, Idea Vodafone, uh, Tolaram Group, then uh, Luxotica, uh, Future Group, uh, then uh, Larson and Dubrow Infotech, Fiat and uh, uh, and you know some of these names so we, i think if you go through our uh, placement report which inside i was also published you will get a better idea plus we will also be sending an updated list uh, by in in a couple of weeks adding more names to that okay the next question is please be specific about sd bocconi's courses uh, finance courses and about their placement what percentage of the batches of finance course so so each year it varies so to be honest since our batch sizes are quite small of course marketing has a you know segment which say about 25 percent of the batch might be electing marketing then we also have a very strong representation from consulting so i think our second highest is consulting then it is followed more or less equally between finance operations hr then we have a smaller percentage representation from IT consulting and business analytics. So this is the breakdown uh, of the specialization more or less. Um, and in terms of finance courses, I think you know the biggest advantage is Bocconi is known for its finance department in Europe. So it is one of our strongest area. Uh, Manjeet, what about placements in India like Tata Steel, Aditya Birla, and after completion of the course? So Tata Steel has not we we we've not uh, you know we Tata Steel hasn't recruited our students yet. However, we have a couple of other Tata Group uh, companies that have recruited with us. The so majority of our placements are in India. Only say about seven to you know eight to ten percent of placements happen abroad. So other ninety percent happen in happen in India. So all the Indian big conglomerates, uh, some of the you, you know multinational companies they all recruit with us so in order to get a bigger list refer to the placement report say last year and refer to the placement report that we have shared this year to you know kind of get an idea of the most current companies with us okay so this is a very interesting question Debashis is asking what kind of assistance do place uh, the students get in terms of better placement so now this question uh, also uh, you know will allow us to highlight the fundamental difference of how we approach placements so if you read the article that we published on inside i am recently we spoke about something called as a eight step process to placements uh, just give me one second and i will take you through the eight step now the uh, the in, in the eight step, the most important element that we focus on is something called as building your profile while you are here doing your uh, IMB course with us. The way it works is once you come here in June, you will go through a couple of uh, weeks of boot camp with the CDS department. The CDS department stands for the Career Development Services Department. Uh, it's a department that comprises of um, you know industry experts who've been uh, part of the placement uh, group of some top uh, schools in the country. Once you come in June, you will go through some generic workshops and some very skill-based workshops. These workshops will include advanced Excel, the art of storytelling, spin selling, Six Sigma certification. Now, all of these are non-academic in nature. However, we have seen that they're very critical when it comes to the conversion during internships as final placements, as well as the uh, you know prep readiness of our students. So this is something that as you know as a compulsory uh, fact, you have to go through the boot camp that happens in June. Now once once June is over in July, you will go through different selections of different clubs. Now the way it works here is each club has a well defined KRA in terms of corporate reach as well as in terms of learning and development. The learning and development track will take care of further enhancing your profile and slowly and slowly helping you evaluate your different specialization options, your strengths, your weaknesses, as well as the target companies you might have in mind. Once those are identified, the CDS again works with you by sitting uh, with you on a one-on-one -on -one mapping session between July, August and September. 
Now, this mapping helps them identify the kind of companies you want to target, the kind of roles you want to target. And basis that, we backtrack everything to then create a career mapping uh, design for you. Once that is followed, you will be able to crack the companies that you have in mind. Now, this career mapping process is includes a psychometric evaluations. It includes one-on-one -on -one, uh, mapping uh, session. It includes alumni uh, buddy interactions. Then it includes certain very important uh, tutorials and workshops. All of this combined helps us identify uh, what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses, which specialization will be very good for you, which specialization, uh, you know, some sometime you might come with a mindset that I want to look at finance, but maybe after the first three months, we'll tell you that we believe that you might be uh, better in terms of operation as a specialization and then that's a choice we leave to the student because we show them and we help them build a design which which once followed will help them uh, get the profile that they will need to crack the companies they have in mind so as you can understand the process is quite different than what you might see in uh, uh, other business schools because it's approached in a very uh, you know scientific as well as structured way uh, in addition to this the internship uh, placement process which happens in September and uh, October during the uh, two years uh, other than the you know process that I just mentioned you will continue going through different workshops as and when we feel that there is a workshop that needs to be introduced being an international school we focus a lot on developing soft skills we focus a lot on developing skills that are very uh, relevant to the jobs of the future for example we have even introduced courses in digital transformation we have added the number of tools you will go through even if you're not taking business analytics as a specialization so all the students have to go through it uh, compulsorily so this is how we approach placements it's a very one-on-one -on -one process to be honest we have had students uh, even now in the current batch, I remember it very well that we have a student who wants to work in impact investing or green energy. And I see our career development services department working with uh, this candidate to find those very specific companies that would be relevant for his uh, target. Similarly, we've had, uh, you know, companies, uh, we have had students who want to look at very specific roles, even in a particular segment. And we try our level best to help them identify as well as uh, we facilitate them to crack, uh, help them to crack those roles. So this is the fundamental difference. So you will not see us having a day zero, day one, day two kind of a process. We of course have a single day where a good number of companies come and a good part of the batch gets placed. But after that, it is literally a very strong uh, career mapping process that we follow. Another very strong element that we always recommend is that if you see most of our students, even if they have work experience or if they don't have work experience, go, go through something called as live projects. These are projects that uh, the placement or the placecom uh, department uh, will help you find and it will just help you further build your profile. So this is how we approach placements, Devashish. Uh, okay, uh, Manjeet Roy is asking what about uh, academic profile and what how to how does it matter for selection? So let me just come back and talk to you about the selection process. So we look at four major factors. The first one is your academic consistency, which means your 10th, 12th, and your graduation marks. When we talk about consistency, we talk about you uh, at least being consistent in your academic record. The second thing that we look at is your test score and uh, online application, which has some essay answers. In terms of test scores, a very good CAT scores for us would be somewhere around 90 above. A good NMAT score for us would be around 200 above. But it doesn't mean, in case if you don't have such scores, it doesn't mean you cannot apply to us. You can still apply uh, through Bocconi entrance test, provided you have a good overall profile. When we talk about good over, overall profile, we are talking about your other extracurricular activities. Now, that, this could include uh, impactful work experience. It could include a, a you know, certain hobby, passion, skill that you have developed over the last few years, or your activities during your school and college days, social work experience, if any, or anything that will help us identify what is it that you bring to the class. So your overall profile has a huge advantage when it comes to applying to us and that can compensate for a low test scores if you clear the Bocconi test which is a behavioral assessment test so what I mean is the first is academic academic consistency then test scores and application and the third one is a strong extracurricular overall profile these three identify if you will be shortlisted for the PI round once you clear the PI round it will be identified if you are selected and if you are selected with tuition waivers or scholarships 
the tuition waivers and scholarships uh, tuition waivers can go up to 80 percent in round three as well if your profile is good you do very well in the interview you will still have a shot at some uh, amount of tuition waiver once selected it can go up to 80 percent uh, from zero to 80 percent and scholarships uh, are uh, like the dean scholarship for very strong academic candidates then we have the women in leadership scholarship for women candidates as well as sports and arts cultural scholarship being italian uh, being an italian business school and international business school art and cultural are a very uh, are a core part of uh, you know the learning experience for our students so we really respect that if you come from that background and you can highlight it through your uh, interview and your essay answers you will also have a short at the sports and arts cultural scholarship so this is how the selection works so if you're looking at applying to us please remember that the next deadline is 20th of march uh, if you don't have any other test scores or if your other test scores are not strong please apply by taking bocconi entrance test okay the next question is uh, do you have companies for it consulting and what is the median salary our median salary is also uh, increased right now we are currently at a median interim salary of uh, 10.5 lakh uh, from 9 lakh last year so you can see the increase has been quite high for us uh, then in terms of it consult consulting last year we had companies like sapien razorfish zenov consulting that recruited for it consulting firm there are a couple of more but the way it works is for example suppose you join and you say listen this, this is my target and these are some of the companies that i would like to uh, you know appear for interviews what we do is then we make a larger list and we go out there to uh, map those companies with your profile and get you these interviews uh, for your final placement process provided you follow the career uh, map that has been built for you for the whole two years so the way it works for us is we will help you uh, we will at least try and help you to get the jobs you want provided you work with us in these two years to build your profile so throughout these year uh, two years basis your performance basis your the feedback that we receive you will be told and there will be different interventions in terms of workshops tutorials uh, uh, you know mock sessions uh, mapping alumni feedback which will then keep guiding you further on how to uh, keep uh, increasing your uh, profile uh, relevancy to the companies you are targeting so it doesn't matter what specialization you have or even if you're targeting something very unique we will try our level best to get those companies to at least you know meet you and interact with you provided you work with us in building your profile that is something that we have really seen uh, is the one of the main reasons for us to manage to crack some of the very big brand uh, brands in a matter of just five placement seasons Okay, last date to apply for Bukoni. As I said, the last date for applying for round three is 20th of March. Please note that uh, we, had, we had scrapped round four uh, in the last two years. So if you are still targeting, apply uh, within round three. Uh, if you apply within round three, your results will come, uh, come out by around 10th of April and you will have to enroll by end of April. So that's how the round three process works. Uh, Kushagra's question is, what about data analytics? And you said that we have added new courses going to begin from this year. Yes. So we, as you can see, uh, business, data science, business analytics is one of those courses that is evolving almost, uh, you know, very fast in the country. So what we have done is we we have increased the number of tools. Uh, for uh, business analytics school students but it is done in form of workshops so that even students who are not choosing business analytics as a specialization can take it simply because what we have also seen this year is that one of the strongest demand has been for multi-specialty business roles which means it could be roles between say mark ops marketing operations or marketing analytics therefore business analytics is something that we feel has become fundamental to our overall uh, strong profile for candidates and therefore we have more or less made it compulsory for students to go through some of these courses to the extent that we have also introduced an element of digital transformation in the international masters in business course if you go to our website we've just posted a note from our dean uh, david Bardule who has explained the uh, new structure of the international masters in business the, the second biggest advantage actually with us is since uh, you know being an international school we take the feedback of our students very seriously so at the end of every term uh, we interact with them and we receive feedback we see which courses uh, you know are probably you know, need to be added or what kind of workshop the students need and basis that we added immediately in the uh, in the next term to make sure that our students are completely prepared for the 
roles or the uh, you know the academic content that they need and this is one of the biggest advantage that we don't go through a big cycle of approvals or reviewing when it comes to co course delivery and course content we collect feedbacks regularly from the students and modify the course the moment we feel convinced that a certain thing needs to be added this is what happens happened in case of business analytics and the courses that we have just introduced for this season kushagra i hope that answers your question um manjeet is asking will bukoni help with financial assistance from the banks for the complete course so so the easiest route to get uh, loans when it comes to our program is through hdfc credela we have seen students more or less uh, you know getting a good part of the uh, course fee so in case if you are selected and if you are, so let's you know unfortunately suppose if you don't get any scholarships you can still apply for a loan through credela hdfc or if you work really hard uh, prepare for the interview well and you have a decent profile and a good profile then the chances of you receiving a tuition waiver or scholarship is already there which reduces the fee substantially so this is uh, you know more or less the uh, i think the overview of the placement as well as specialization as well, or and the admission process to just reiterate some of the numbers uh, the the biggest difference that we are seeing this year is the uh, is the you know larger acceptance from uh, different uh, very big brands in india and especially the consulting segment now the moment you start having these kind of brand names say deloitte evi uh, there are a lot of other uh, companies that keep oh, you know that that get get added on to your employer portfolio in addition to this what we have also seen and is very critical is the transitions that our students have made after their first job so now we have students who who got play through got through campus placement but are now working in companies like hul uh, marico ambit um, you know and you know and the likes of uh, deloitte evi pwc bnp pariba Uh, um, city credit swiss and this has happened avendis and this has happened because of the entire two year process as well as the hard work put behind by our students so what we are seeing is a strong response from the corporate world especially after becoming sta bakoni asia center uh, another uh, biggest advantage being the way we prepare our students has been received uh, by the industry very positively and the fact that since our students go through a course which is very different in flavor as compared to other courses so the interactions with these companies are also very different for so for example i think what happens at the end of two years is our students are those who know how to work and behave with different cultures at a much stronger level as prob probably as compared to other students and that actually acts as a big advantage because you might be working in a company which will have clients abroad and therefore that will be uh, that acts as a very big plus and that's the reason we are seeing a lot of our students now moving abroad uh, after 2 years so we have we now have students who are uh, who have moved to countries like uh, uk netherlands italy hong kong uh, thailand so these are some of the movements that has happened after 2 years of one or two years of working with the companies they got placed in okay then let me just take one or two uh, more questions and then in case uh, you know if you have anything else just let us let me know so there is a question by kushagra again what are the specialization in business analytics as well right so to be honest we uh, when you go for your specialization semester in milan you will receive a list of courses that you can pick from what we have traditionally seen is that people mostly keep it uh, the uh, you know the standard based business analytics course because the relevancy of the course that way for different companies is stronger if you want you can further deep dive into artificial intelligence machine learning or even digital transformation at uh, you know at large but these are some of the tracks you can follow what we're going to do is we're going to probably also try and publish some of the courses that students can pick while they are going to their milan semester the next question is by utkarsh can you please tell us your highest and lowest package okay so our highest salary something that we officially report is currently 24 lakh please note this is a domestic salary we do not report our lowest salary but to be very honest what we try is we try to uh, make sure that companies come here and they are in the upwards of 8 lakh as an average but this is something we try now exceptions might be in cases of certain luxury companies because luxury as a market is not very uh, you know strong in india but if a student says that they are very clear that they want to work in a luxury uh, company uh, and uh, they are fine with the profile then in those cases the packages might start in the range of 7 7 and a half but this is a call again we leave it to the 
students. Uh, Utkarsh is asking, what are the packages including the variable pay as well? No, it depends because only there are a few companies that include uh, variable uh, pay, but the, the, the salaries that I'm re reporting are the CTC salaries, which is cost to company. The next question is, uh, Rahul, why the fee is which, uh, why the fee is high and that it comes around 20 lakh uh, is is that the international study fee inclusive yes so Raghul, you're right uh, to be very honest uh, you know now with all the schools increasing their fee we are no uh, longer a very uh, you know a high fee scores uh, please note that the fee here includes the tuition fee of the milan semester unlike other schools where if you go for an exchange semester you will have to further pay for the exchange here the tuition fee is included you just have to take care of the expenses that might you might incur so that is the fundamental difference also what i a lot of times i say a certain type of quality comes at a certain type of price please understand that bocconi is a massive brand uh, globally the fact that you go through a course that is uh, registered in the european registry as well as is uh, you know includes a faculty that is true completely international with so much of cross cultural exposure uh, kind of uh, puts to, uh, all of this put together brings it to the fee that we have priced it at irrespective of that it still includes the tuition fee of milan so that makes it quite uh, you know you know effective the next uh, question is apurva is milan semester for finance marketing as well yes yes absolutely see the biggest advantage of the milan semester is that there are you can choose from more than 70 75 courses now these courses include specialization tracks such as finance strategy consulting innovative and technology um, then uh, marketing retail management luxury and fashion management operations supply chain so depending on your interest depending on your target uh, companies depending on your target roles you basically have to hand pick your own specialization a lot of times you might want to take two courses from finance two from strategy because you know maybe you want to broaden the end uh, your, the end target of in terms of companies and roles so that is entirely dependent on you and of course your seniors as well as the CDS department will help you identify what kind of courses you should be picking during your specialization semester okay the next question is uh, Shirsha does uh, SDA Bakoni accept GMAT scores if yes yes absolutely G we accept GMAT a good GMAT score can be around 640 and upwards uh, big, and a pretty very a good in, in terms of strong GMAT score will be somewhere around 680 and upwards. So yes, we accept um, GMAT. Okay, um, Kuldeep has just joined in and he's asking, how do I get into it? There are two ways. Start our online application, submit before 20th of March. If you have already CAT, NMAT, GMAT or GRE scores, you can apply with those scores as we have our own entrance test, which is called Bocconi entrance test. It's very similar to GMAT in pattern, computer adaptive, no negative marking is conducted online. All you have to do is submit the form and say yes to Bocconi entrance test in the form itself. Uh, Kushagra is asking, does SDA Bocconi has, uh, SDA Bocconi Mumbai has triple crown accreditation? Okay, so let me clear a fundamental doubt here because I know this comes up very often. Uh, the school is SDA Bocconi School of Management. SDA Bocconi Asia Center is a location where the IMB course offered by SDA Bocconi is delivered. The school school is SDA Bocconi Italy, which means when you enroll, you uh, the, the IMB is offered by SDA Bocconi Italy. You get the master's diploma directly by SDA Bocconi in Italy. And then you graduate and you become Bocconi Alumni Network. So SDA Bocconi uh, is triple crown accredited, which includes ACSB, AMBA and Equus. And on top of that, we are, uh, I think, in the top top five in Europe as a business school and in the top 30 consistently in Financial Times uh, Global MBA rankings. So that's what that's the fundamental difference you need to understand. Um, I think more or less I've covered everything. What I would recommend is uh, in terms of placements, please visit, uh, please read the article that we've just recently posted at Inside IM, uh, which uh, talks about our placement uh, process as well as how we approach placements as well as some of the numbers and companies. In terms of Milan semester, I think we have posted a couple of uh, videos on uh, the opportunities that are available during the Milan semester in addition to the learning experience. So I think these two, three things together will give you a much stronger idea of what Bocconi is as a brand uh, globally as well as what we are trying to do here in India. Uh, to summarize it, we focus a lot on soft skills. We are interested in candidates 
who are then interested in a program which has a strong international angle uh, you know attached to it so keeping this in mind in case if you still have any questions i'm just going to try and post uh, you know my email id here if you have any questions please feel free and send your questions to me as a uh, as bullet points because that would be easier for me to address here is my email id uh, please send your questions here if i have not been able to cover it today uh, in a, i will also connect you whoever will write to me or i can you can also reach out to this person who is our program advisor now this person will then guide you for any questions queries you wanting to speak to students or anything that you might have in mind during the admission process this person will help you uh, throughout the process you can whatsapp them and they will uh, they will call you back so this is the number of our program advisor thank you so much uh, for being uh, here with us today as i said feel free to send us your questions or reach out to one of our program advisors thank you so much guys have a good evening